Are you about to start your auditions for drama school? Well, thank God I found you because you need to watch this video first. Hi, if you have no idea who I am, which you probably don't, my name's Georgie, I'm an actor, I've performed in the West End and I am here to help you with your 2022 drama school or Auditions. If you clicked on this video, you are most likely auditioning for drama schools this year and I really want to share a few tips with you before you go ahead and go to your auditions because I think these tips are invaluable. These are things that I learned through my process of auditioning, getting in and then going to drama school and they're things that not everyone knows and I really want to be able to share this information with as many people as possible before you go to your auditions. So that's what we're gonna talk about today, buckle up. These tips can also translate to auditions for shows, auditions after drama school, before drama school. So if you're not actually auditioning for drama school, but you wanna know a bit more about audition tips, a lot of these tips can also translate to just regular run of the mill auditions. I'm not gonna mince my words, I'm gonna keep it real and share with you the actual things that are gonna help you achieve your dream of going to drama school. The first point is all about dance. dance dance, dance. This is probably one to skip if you are not auditioning for a musical theatre course or a dance course, if you're just going for an acting course. You really don't need to worry about the dance portion of this video, so feel free to skip ahead. And I've added timestamps so that you can do this easily. A question I get asked about so much is, do I need to be a good dancer to have a career in this industry? Do I need to be able to dance to get into drama school? You don't have to be able to dance to get in and go to drama school. However, I ain't gonna lie, it does help. We're not gonna get into the nitty gritty of that in this video. I might make a point on like the specifics of what they look for in drama school auditions and how they actually mark drama school auditions to figure out who's gonna get in. I think that'd be something really helpful for people to know about if you'd like me to do that. Just leave me a little comment down below with a little thumbs up emoji so that I know to make that video because I always wanna be making videos that you guys actually want to see. It is true, you don't have to be able to dance. However, if you are auditioning for a musical theater or a dance course, there will be a dance portion of the audition. You wanna feel as as comfortable and prepared for this as possible. And so while I say that you don't have to be able to dance, be an amazing, you know, incredible dancer with legs up to here, triple pirouettes, all that kind of thing, you do have to have an understanding of your body. This doesn't necessarily mean that you have really strong technique, you can do all these amazing tricks and things like that, but what they are going to be looking for is that you have an understanding and a certain amount of control over your body and the ability to be able to learn adapt and grow. These are the things that they're looking for. They're not looking for finished, polished dancers who could perform the entirety of the Jellicle Ball, you know, with their eyes closed. Obviously, I'm not gonna lie to you, having dance technique and dance training will really help you if you want to audition for dance and musical theatre courses. It will make the dance portion of the audition much, much easier and more comfortable for you. But if you are not comfortable with dance, not confident with dance, don't worry, that does not mean that you are not gonna get into drama school. But you do need to show a basic understanding of your individual body. I'm thinking of making a whole video specifically on drama school dance audition tips. So again, if you would like to see that, do let me know. But having a general understanding of your body, what I mean by that is knowing your limits, knowing what your body can handle, and knowing how to deliver that in a safe, presentable manner. So that's not necessarily trying to get your legs up really, really high and having really twisted hips and it just all being a bit of a mess, having a low leg, somewhere that you can comfortably put your leg where your hips are gonna remain square, that kind of thing. Again, I'll go into more detail in another video, but I just really, really wanted to share that point because yes, you don't have to be an amazing dancer, but you do have to have this level of understanding. I think that's really important and something that they definitely look for. Another thing I get asked about so much is songs and whether or not you should sing songs that are really, really popular, really overdone. Oh my gosh, this is such a hot topic. And something that I think people really worry about is picking the perfect song. I have a lot of tips on this subject, on picking perfect audition songs, on what songs not to sing, on what songs to sing, on what kind of songs would work for drama school auditions. But the number one thing that I'm going to say in this video to do with your drama school audition songs is the most important thing is not singing a song that is unheard of but being the best person at that song. So what I mean by that is you may really want to sing a song that you feel is quite a popular maybe a bit of an overdone song. What I would encourage you to think about instead of thinking oh my gosh is this a really popular song? Is this a song that is really overdone and they're gonna be sick of, I would encourage you instead to think, am I gonna be the best person at this song? And if the answer is yes, sing your socks off. If the answer is no, I would suggest looking for an alternative. I don't think that it matters if a song is quite popular. The most important thing is how 
how well you deliver that song and I think it's about being really honest with yourself and it's absolutely fine to be like actually no I don't think I could maybe sing this quite as well as if 10 other people were singing this song but there's another song that I feel like I could deliver really well that's not quite as common also it's not about finding like really like obscure strange songs it is about finding the song that is going to show you off to your very best the next thing i'm going to talk about the most important thing when you are auditioning for drama school is preparation one of my favorite quotes fail to prepare prepare to fail. I teach a lot of one-to-one -one Zooms helping people prepare for their drama school auditions. And one of the things that really freaks me out is when someone emails me or contacts me about a week before their audition and is like, I need to go through all this stuff. I need to find a monologue. I need to find a song. Not quite sure what I'm singing, not quite sure what I'm doing. And I'm like, that is leaving it extremely late. I really encourage you to start thinking about your drama school auditions sooner rather than later. Start to get your material prepared, start to take any classes that you want to take in advance. Don't just think that by having like one or two classes the week or two before your audition that's really gonna make any difference. I mean it might help a little bit if you already feel really prepared and confident but if you don't that's not really gonna do much. It's all about thinking ahead and preparing yourself because this is quite a high intensity stressful, nerve-wracking thing to be doing. It can be really fun and enjoyable, but only if you put in the preparation and get yourself to a place where you feel ready and confident to do these auditions. If you're running around trying to find a Shakespeare monologue, like, a couple of weeks before your audition. It's just not gonna be fun for you. It's gonna be a horrible experience. It's gonna be really stressful and it doesn't need to be that way. So you need to take back control and be prepared. Be prepared. I think that's probably my overall tip for this video is taking back control. You are in control of your own destiny. You are in control of how well these auditions go. You're not in control of whether or not you get in because that's up to someone else, but you are in control of how much work you put in, how prepared you are and how hard you work. And doing all this is just gonna make the process so much more enjoyable for you and you're gonna feel so much better about your audition and ultimately about yourself because you'll know that you did absolutely everything you could. Another thing I do really encourage my students to do and also people that DM me or send me messages asking is to audition for as many schools as possible because yes, you might have your dream school mapped out in your head. That might be the place that you've always dreamed of going that you think will be the best fit for you and you're probably right. You know, you know what you want, you know where you wanna go. However, you can surprise yourself and I know for myself, I had one school that I was adamant that I wanted to go to I was so desperate to go to this school thought that was going to be the best fit for me and then actually after auditioning a couple of places I realized that I was much better suited to a different school and that was the school that I ultimately ended up going to so I think it's super important to try as many different options as possible obviously cost is a huge factor in this because you have to pay to audition for drama schools and this can really, really stack up the costs if you are auditioning for multiple places. So I know that this is not always possible and I completely understand that. But if you do have the option, I would recommend auditioning at a few extra places to the place that you've got your heart set on because you just never know. Another thing that I think that people sometimes forget and that's really important to remember is that the school is auditioning too. Yes, you're the one having to go in there and perform and do all these things and put yourself out there and at the risk of, you know, potential failure and potentially not getting in, but the school needs people to go to it so that it can continue on. The school needs you to want to go to it and the school needs you just as much as you need the school. And I think that's such an important thing to remember, not to put these places on a pedestal because yes, they are incredible. There's incredible teachers and people that know a lot more than you currently do. And if you get into these schools, they will be able to coach you and guide you and share their knowledge with you. That's not to discount any of that. How However, if no one wanted to go to drama school, what would the drama schools do? You know, they also need people to want to go to them. So they're also showing themselves off and showing their best side and wanting you to want to go there. And that's something that also applies to regular auditions for musicals or plays or TV and film. These productions, these shows, these films need actors to be in them for them to happen. So I think it's about sort of like leveling the scales out a little bit in your own mind and not placing these places on too much of a pedestal because 
they need you just as much as you need them. And I think that's a really important thing to remember. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to drama school audition tips. I have a ton more and I'm thinking of making more specific videos on different points that I have touched on in this video, but I really wanted to get this information out there ASAP because I am aware that people are gonna start auditioning for drama schools in the next couple of months. And I wanna help as many people as possible to do their very best auditions and ultimately get into their dream schools. If anyone would like any more information on my private one-to-one -one class, I will leave my email address on the screen. Just send me a little email over there. Alternatively, send me a DM on Instagram and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you are new to my channel, I would recommend checking out this video next because it's a good one and I really like it. And I think that you will too. Hope you're all okay. Sending you loads and loads of love and I will see you in the next one. Bye.